next speaker is the founding director of the Georgia Tech Center for Music Technology. His interests lie in uh, robotic musicianship, new instruments, mobile music, and sonification. His music has been featured in festivals and concerts all over the world. I present to you Gil Weinberg. Thank you. I, I want to thank everyone uh, involved in inviting me here. This is very exciting, and I want to show you some of the research about the future, uh, or one possible future of jazz as I see it. Uh, I moved here just to show some slides and videos. So I work on robotic musicians, and the idea of robotic musicianship is to develop robots that listen like humans, but play like machines. And we are trying to have robots that will inspire us, that will create new ideas in our head. It's a lot about communication. It's a lot about listening and responding. And uh, I will address in a second the question, will robots replace us? And I think they will not. I think they will inspire us and will enhance us. This is one of the first robots that we developed. And we just heard about Israel. This is a concert from Israel where uh, Arabs and Israelis play together with a robot as facilitator, listening to them, understanding music like humans, but then improvising and creating new ideas based on algorithms that humans will never come up with. I'll show you some examples. And by the way, look at the uh, Darbuka player who just met uh, Haile, the robot, that morning, and the first time that he heard how he responds to his music. We need to hear music. <laughs> we need to hear music. heard in the beginning is call and response. We talked about call and response, something very important in jazz, but then the robot listened to everything and morphed between one rhythm from here and one uh, pitch from there and created something new. Uh, we then moved to something that actually can play, a new robot that can play pitch and can understand harmony and melody. And it also has a head so it can groove with you and move with you. It understands a beat and it can look at you to facilitate turn taking. All of the great stuff that we all know and appreciate in jazz. Uh, let me show you a short clip of how, similar to the first clip, I play, Shimon the robot listens and then come up with new ideas that hopefully will inspire me. Sometimes it's similar, sometimes it's a little different. Now I give it a beat. It detects a beat. <laughs> now Mason Breton, my student, is improvising. It listens to it, so it looks at Mason just to make sure that we are all together. And now, based on what I played, it will come up with its own idea. That's a beat that I gave. It's in D. And now it starts to play uh, ideas that both uh, me, Mason, and the drummer are responding to. Here's another example where we gave the robot chord progression. We taught him all of the role of jazz based on machine learning and based on rules. And then it just improvises based on the chords that I'm playing on piano. <laughs> Small robots dance with it, of course, detect the beat, and so on. And of course, we talked about some uh, advers <laughs> thank you, some adversarial uh, interaction. Here, something that uh, sounds more like a duel between two drummers. Uh, one drummer is a human, one is Shimon, who is a percussionist. But then see how together they come up with something together out of this back and forth. A little contentious, but uh, enough to create maybe uh, democracy, peace, and harmony.
That's part of democracy. <laughs> I think the most exciting, or one of the most exciting approaches is when robots and humans merge together to create cyborgs. This is Jason Barnes. He's an amputee drummer that saw some of my robots online and told me that he lost his arm in an accident. It was about six years ago. He was devastated, and he asked if we can build him an arm that will allow him to play again. So, of course, we developed an arm for him, but I said, how about we push the envelope? It will have two sticks. One stick responds to your muscle movement. The other is a stick with a mind of its own that can improvise and inspire you. Your own body is kind of interacting with you and creating uh, responses. And, of course, if we're going there, let's make it play like no human can. Each stick plays 20 hits per second, much faster than any human. So, together, it's 40. <laughs> Let's see what we can do with this. Let's see how technology and robot. I, uh, I <laughs> I'm sorry, but. I, <laughs> I see the cats there. Yeah, go, go, go. Let's see. Let's sing it out. And imagine what happened when one stick plays. 20 hertz, as a 19 hertz, together create polyrhythms and all kind of unique and uh, interesting ideas that can inspire you. I think the last video I will show uh, is when a different human, Andrew, the guitar player here, actually control one of the sticks. So now not only uh, the stick listens to the music and improvises and Jason controls the other stick, we have a different human interacting, connecting, creating uh, new ideas, uh, Basically, in a very strange and kind of intimate way, controlling Jason's own arm and see how he responds with that. And I think he, he did pretty well. Uh, he's definitely a much better drummer today, partly because he practiced, but we believe that's partly because of the technology. So I, I will uh, end with that. <laughs> Every chord from Andrew, the guitar player, changes the speed of the drum. Thank you very much.